campaign joint press conference. My name is Damar Roberts, uh, campaign manager for SAB campaign. We welcome each and every one of you here for this moment. Uh, the press conference this morning will start off with remarks by attorney Caesar McKnight, followed by representative Ronnie Saab, and then we will open for questions and closing remarks. Again, on behalf of the joint campaigns, we welcome you to this press conference on this morning. If you all can just maybe possibly come in just a little bit um, from our left and our right and bring your chairs and just join us in, we want to be very closely connected and united um, at this event. Attorney Caesar McKnight, let's welcome him to the podium. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I want to first start out by acknowledging uh, my campaign staff. They are absolutely the best. They have been with me since day one, and I want to tell them right now in front of everyone, I love them so very much, and it touches me deeply how hard you all work for me, and I will never, ever forget that. I want to let you all know that. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge my biggest campaign supporters, and, and that, and those are my parents, both my mother and my father. Um, yeah. uh, you know, no one has your back like your mother, and um, from day one, and my dad's always been there as a constant source of guide and wisdom, so I, I appreciate them greatly for bringing me into the world and having me where I am now. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a long, hard fight in our campaign to become uh, state senator, and based upon the results, we have fallen a bit short. It has been our desire from day one to be the type or have the type of campaign that we could be proud of, and I'm proud of the race that we've won. I believe that we've gone out and touched the hearts and minds of many people in District 32, and that they have bought into our vision and we've just fallen a little bit short. Quietly and, and, and leave the world as it was, because just because you aren't where you want to be, it doesn't mean that you can't work where you are. So I've looked at what's going on, and I'm, pr and, and I'm proud now to say that I am wholeheartedly and emphatically and enthusiastically and any other positive adjective I can come up with, so throwing my support behind Ronnie A. Sab for South Carolina State Senate. I have known Ronnie for almost 20 something years. I got my start as an attorney under, Ron, under Attorney Sab and under Judge Cliff Newman. I learned my, what I believe to be my skills as a litigator from watching him and from working with him. And beyond that, I got to know him and his family. So I believe in the man. You may ask me, well, why are you endorsing Ronnie? Because you, know, we, you saw us on the, on the campaign trail and it got a bit contentious. Well, I look at it like a football game. You play hard while in the four quarters, but after it's over, you come shake hands, you pray together, and you remain friends. And I will always forever be a friend. Ronnie has demonstrated a commitment to serving the community, every person in the community, regardless of their origin and their walk of life. He has articulated a plan and a vision for this district. One people, one district, and one mission. Beyond that, I know him to be a good Christian man who lets God guide him. So I don't believe, with God as his compass, I believe that if we follow him and his leadership, we can get where we need to be. So ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that supported me and you're a little down in your spirit and you feel as if you can't support him, I'm asking you to let that spirit go because it is that spirit of division that will keep us from where we need yes, to be. And if I can stand up here and pledge my support to him and go forward with him for the next few weeks to see that he's successful, I'm sure that you can do the same. If you do half 
for him what you did for me. Victory is assured for us. So I need you all who were with me. I need you to be with me just a little bit more, but I need you to be with me in following and helping Ronnie Sav become our next South Carolina State Senator. So with that being said, without any further ado, I would like to welcome to the podium our next senator for District 32, Ronnie A. Good morning. First of all, let me uh, uh, say thank you to, to Attorney Cesar McKnight. Uh, I am privileged and honored to stand here with him and to be endorsed by him. Uh, let me also say uh, that I am privileged and honored uh, to have been endorsed by uh, the many voters, uh, the many prayer warriors and supporters from District 32 and across the state of South Carolina. Uh, District 32 is, is home. Uh, I never wanted to leave home. And when I left home, I continued to have a burning desire to return. Well, what we know is that our journey from the outhouse to the state house could only have been possible through grace and through the notion that we would be embraced because we sincerely offered ourselves to service. And so consequently, we were elected to the South Carolina House of Representatives, representing House District 101. And we said then that to the extent that we were a part of that journey, that we would be one people, one county. We would have one representative who would embrace one mission, and that mission would be about the business of progressively improving our area. Here's what we know. That which binds us together is greater than that which attempts to separate us. Yeah. We have publicly campaigned in the area of our district called Bucksport. We have publicly campaigned in the area of our district called Williamsburg County. We have campaigned in Berkeley County, in Georgetown County, publicly. And so it is no mystery where we stand on key and important issues. We participated in several debates adjusting our schedule in order that we might make ourselves available for those who were interested and curious about where we stood on the issues. And so education was at the forefront. And so we went before the Williamsburg County Education Association, and they endorsed us and endorsed us for a reason. Those of you who've been watching us, as we have campaigned publicly, uh, you know that we believe that health care is a right for all and not a privilege for the few. You know that we believe that a strong Georgetown County is key to a strong District 32. And so are all of the other counties and communities that we will represent. What we've discovered over our travels is that we are all simply rural South Carolina. We have similar issues in all of our areas, similar needs and similar desires. 
that which attempts to separate us is less than that which continues to put us together. Here's what else you know. You know that we have participated in the legislative environment in Columbia. And we're thankful to you all for sending us there. Those of you who've witnessed what we've been about both there and here, you know that we have earned the respect of our colleagues in Columbia. And in fact, we've earned the respect of the state of South Carolina. Here's what we leave you with. We're simply satisfied and convinced that behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the accepted time for us to come together like we've never come together before. Now is the accepted time for us to understand that together we can. We're absolutely convinced that together we can rise above our valleys. Together we can exceed our individual reach. And together we can visualize beyond our dreams. And so we are simply asking that those of you who are here spread the word and make it clear that we will be about the business of progressively improving each and every one of our areas. We will have no respect of person. The only question is, the only question is, are you willing and ready to move forward? To the extent that you are, we simply ask that you all would join us. If you're ready to move forward, we simply ask that you would join us. We ask that you would stand by us and with us. And I am firmly convinced that if we come together in a special way, and if we attempt to move forward, that which is in our way will simply move to the side and witness what we are all about. And so, behold, now is the accepted time. And so here we are on this journey, 11 more days ahead. That is enough time. That is more than enough time for us to do that which is required in order for us to be successful. But we can't do it by ourselves. We've embraced the notion that any time a leader is about the notion of I, 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 me, 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 that there's an opportunity that he will simply see, see, see. We're not about the eyes. We are about the we's and the us's. Yeah. I leave you with this. I leave you with this. I leave you with this. If, if one wants to run fast. If one wants to run fast, then that individual ought run by himself. But if one wants to run far, if he wants to run far, then he must travel with others. Yes. And so we simply ask that you would join us on this journey. Travel with us as we leave the idea of going from the outhouse to just the state house and the house, and travel from the outhouse to the state house and the Senate. God bless you all, and God bless America. Thank you both. Now what we'll do is that we'll take questions from the media. If there are any questions from the media,
Representative Sab, first. Senator, maybe Representative Anderson. I don't know if you want to speak for him. Well, we're not at liberty to speak for Representative Anderson right now. Um, the relationship that I have with Ronnie Sab is not one that was developed on the campaign trail. As I indicated to you in my remarks, I've known him for 25 years, um, and the person, his mentor, who is also my mentor, I've known him since. I can first remember, I dare say that Clifton Newman is probably the reason why I'm a lawyer. So this isn't something that just came about. Um, it's more like teacher-student, uh, if you would, and and it's grown through the years, and he's a respected colleague of mine, and I believe that, I, that, that he respects me. So we've had a, re a relationship of friendship, and I believe friends can compete together, and if one wins and the other one doesn't, that doesn't make them adversaries. They're just one friend won and one didn't that time. That's just what it is. But we're still friends, and I think we'll forever be so. So. All right. I ditto uh, the remarks. I would only make one little correction. Uh, it uh, has been uh, student uh, and teacher, but it has also been student and teacher. And so we've grown on this journey uh, together. I believe that every day that we live, uh, we have an opportunity to learn from others. And so we've been privileged to find ourselves together in a, none of, a number of environments, and consequently, we are a better person as a result of it. All right. Uh, well, um, the recount will take care of itself. Uh, the numbers uh, speak for uh, themselves. Um, uh, let me just talk uh, about uh, what we've experienced. Uh, we've experienced our friends uh, advocating for that which they believe. We simply respect America and the democracy that she represents. And so here we are, having had a contested election. And then the democratic power process takes hold. When you look at America and what she represents, we are the only nation that passes along power peacefully. Yeah. And so here we are on this day, passing along an opportunity peacefully but yet joining in that which we truly believe. And that is that this notion of becoming senator has to be one about the idea of service being above self. And so we join each other and we embrace that notion as we move forward. Yeah. Um, I feel exactly the same way that he does. Um, Ronnie's, a, Ronnie's one of the protectors of the Constitution as I am. That's what I like to consider lawyers. And I believe, just like he does, in our American democracy. We don't have bloody civil wars to decide who's going to be what. We don't have the type of dissensions that you see in the rest of the world. We accept the rule of law for what it is. We participate within the rules. We have our contests, which are called elections. And when the voters speak, we listen. Um, this isn't about what I want. This is about what the people want. They have spoken on Tuesday. I have heard them. And I'm going to do all I can to carry out their wishes. And that is why you see me here at this podium wholeheartedly endorsing Ronnie Sapp. Yeah. With that being said, we thank each and every one of you for joining us on this morning, and uh, we'll move forward. Thank you very much.